In Japan, the old and slow 2017 Radeon RX 550 graphics card has returned to the shelves at a price of $155. The Radeon RX 6500 Hyde can safely be called AMD's biggest failure in many years. It seemed that there would be nothing worse than the frankly hacky Radeon RX 5500 height, but the Reds decided to go all in, presenting a video card so slow that it's hard to imagine who came up with the idea to release something like this. We will not return to the dull Radeon RX 6500 height, because AMD has many opportunities ahead to please loyal fans with even more dubious products. By the way, one such case occurred recently in Japan. As reported, four major retailers in the land of the rising sun have started mass sales of the old Radeon RX 550 video card. Recall that this model was released in 2017 and was the most budget representative of the line. It offered very modest performance, so even then no one called it a game. AMD had no illusions about this graphics chip, so it positioned the card as an effective replacement for integrated graphics chips. Then it was argued that if you have a processor without an ICPU, then the Radeon RX 550 will perfectly cope with its tasks. After 5 years, a 4GB batch went on sale, and the selling price was fixed at around 17,600 yen, which is equal to $155. You can study the technical characteristics of the new product in the image below. As for performance. A slow graphics card like the GeForce GTX 1050 is about 90% faster. We don't think it's worth talking too much about this topic, because the Radeon RX 550 is really terribly slow, and its only advantage is its tiny size and low power consumption. So, it requires only 50 watts, which allows it to be used without additional power. It's unclear why there are so many new Radeon RX 550 graphics cards in Japanese retail. It is quite possible that the graphics chips were lying in a warehouse, and after they were discovered by one of AMD's partners, reincarnated and attached a new price tag. By the way, the price is really amazing. So, if in 2017 the card debuted at $80, and in 2019 it cost about $60, Today it is offered for $155. Please note that the integrated graphics have made a huge leap in 5 years, so the Radeon RX 550 will not be so easy to compete with ICBIS. If you look at Geekbench, you can see that the old lady scores about 15,900 points, while Vega 11 on Risen 5000 series hybrid processors gives out about 14,900 points. In general, not everything is so bad. If you intended to buy a budget Force GT 1030, then it's time to switch to the Radeon RX 550, since the first one gives out only 10,000 points in Geekbench. As you can see, the shortage of semiconductors pushes manufacturers to do the strangest things. A year ago, no one would have thought to dig up such a primitive graphics chip in a warehouse. But today there are no graphics chips which means that manufacturers have no choice. Would you buy a Radeon RX 550 for $155, or would you prefer a Radeon RX 6500 Hyde for $40,000?